I just received my first uh, reproduction or counterfeit Game Boy cartridge in the mail, uh, not on purpose, and I am so excited because this thing is incredible. Uh, so check this out. So the first thing that tipped me off was uh, the numbers that are imprinted in the bottom right corner of the label. So on authentic cartridges, there's always uh, a small number, usually like 22 or 23, that's in the bottom right corner. They are very faint, they are very hard to see, but they're always there. You just gotta get the right lighting and they'll show up. Uh, there are numbers here, but the difference is they're not imprinted into the label, which, eh, it really, it, uh, kind of made me question things. Uh, the second thing was the label printing itself. It looks really good, and the sticker is really good, uh, but it's just a little bit more faded than what I'm used to, uh, especially the Nintendo seal of quality. This thing is supposed to be almost sparkly gold, and I know labels, I mean, this thing's old. It's like 30 years old, but uh, it was more faded than I was, I was expecting to see. Um... So the label is not the not the proper print quality. All right, moving on to the plastic itself, um, and I had to compare it. Like, okay, so this is an authentic cartridge I bought, you know, knew it when it came out. Um, so and the next things to check for is just the uh, the plastic here, the uh, imp the words. So here's an example. Here's an example of a, uh, this is not a uh, reproduction cartridge, this is just a modern, a modern Game Boy game, a <laughs> great game. Um, so, and on this one, the label up on top, instead of saying Nintendo Game Boy, we'll just say Game Pack. And on the back, instead of saying uh, Made in Japan, it says Made in China. Okay, whatever. Um, and you know, there's also, it's just a standard screw here, instead of the Nintendo, uh, I can't, I don't know what this is called, special screw. Um, and so this is a, this is a known modern game. Uh, you know, many of them will just say game pack. If you see game pack on the cartridge, obviously it's a modern reproduction and made in China, modern reproduction. Uh, there's other modern uh, games. This is another homebrew game. Uh, it does say Nintendo Game Boy on top. So it looks good. This one also says Made in Japan Patent Pending, and also has the Nintendo-style screw in the back. And so that's actually, this is actually a pretty pretty impressive um, uh, homebrew game. Not a reproduction, not a counterfeit game, it's just a modern game. It's just an example of another type of cartridges that come out. So some of them are really obvious. Some of them are a little more like the originals. So this one here... This one is uh, so close to the original. It really threw me off. So the plastic is just the tiniest shade off. And I know that seems silly for a game that's uh, 30 years old, but it is, uh, you can kind of tell, it's just a little bit reddish, pinkish, instead of the faded gray, uh, rich, uh, the dark gray. Um, the wording up on here, I had to hold them right next to each other. The A in Game Boy, <laughs> the feet of the A don't go down far enough to line up with the bottom of the G on this cartridge. Really, really subtle. Likewise on the back, now I can't, I don't think I can get it to show up in the photo, but it says underneath Made in Japan, it says Patent Pending. And actually both Made in Japan and Patent Pending are just they're just the wrong font. They're the wrong lettering on this, the, uh, the counterfeit cartridge. Now at this point, I am, I went from being 10% uh, questioning whether or not it was authentic to about 50%. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't have all these clues in, in the beginning, but now at this point, I'm about 50% questioning. And so I decided to open it up, take out the official screw, These things are usually easy to, very easy to slide off on official cartridges. This one's really difficult to get off, which was another kind of indication that the plastic isn't as good as it should be. And check it out. So what I'm expecting to find is, you know, Nintendo labeled chips, 
uh, official serial numbers for the circuit boards. Instead, I get a very large unlabeled, basically unlabeled uh, chip here. And up here, uh, something labeled Malaysia. I don't even know. It's not a Nintendo uh, internals here. So that's that. This is, a, I mean, that 100% confirms. This is, uh, I mean, <laughs> looking at any internals of any other uh, Game Boy game, either the same game or any other cartridge will show that this is immediately not what is expected. This is not an authentic Nintendo cartridge. So yeah, this blew my mind. Now the reason I questioned it for so long was for two reasons. I was really skeptical that this was a, a modern reproduction, not an authentic Nintendo cartridge. And the reasons were twofold. Number one, the first reason that made me believe this can't be fake is the um, the label itself is worn out as if it was a game that someone bought 30 years ago and kind of played a little bit and just kind of got tossed around. You know, it doesn't look, you know, it's got like uh, scrapes and indentations on it as if it's been sitting in a drawer. It's not just cleanly printed. It's got a little indentation here where the, uh, the little indent in the plastic is. So the label, the wear on the label was an indication that eh, maybe it is authentic. The second thing was it's it's Barbie. <laughs> now I understand <laughs> if someone makes a uh, I don't know a popular game. Let's say Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> why would someone make a counterfeit Barbie? <laughs> I mean, I plugged it into the Game Boy. It worked. It, it was Barbie. I didn't see any signs that it was a uh, ROM hack or anything. It's just so weird. Uh, I have no reason to believe that the person who sold it. Uh, knew that it was uh, not authentic, so whatever. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't blame them. <laughs> but yeah, kind of crazy. Uh, I, uh, I'm pretty sure the plastic case it came in is uh, authentic. <laughs>